I'm Eric Gray from VMware, and in this video, you'll see how to quickly set up a VMware NSX segment with DHCP services. To get started, log into the VMware Engine portal and access the Cloud Owner credentials, which provides admin access to vCenter. The summary screen also lets you view the NSX password, and you can easily reference the integrated DNS server addresses here too. Links to the vSphere client and other admin interfaces are under the vSphere Management Network tab. Experienced vSphere admins will have no difficulty transferring their skills to the familiar VMware Engine environment. Under the Networking tab, you can see there are several networks that support the private cloud infrastructure, but none of these are for workload VMs. Return to the portal and follow the same procedure one more time to obtain NSX Manager credentials and launch the web interface. Navigate to the Networking tab and select DHCP under IP Management. Add a DHCP profile and provide a name. You can leave the server IP address field blank. Select the existing edge cluster and click Save. Once the DHCP profile is created, navigate to Tier 1 Gateways. Edit the configuration for the gateway named Tier 1. Enable DHCP by clicking Set DHCP Configuration. Change the type to DHCP Server and select the DHCP profile that you created in the previous step. Save the configuration changes and close the editing dialog. To create a workload network, navigate to Segments and click Add Segment. Provide a name for the network and select the Tier 1 Gateway and the TZ Overlay Transport Zone. In the subnets configuration, enter the IP address you plan to allocate for the gateway interface, as well as an appropriate CIDR length for the network. To provide DHCP services to this segment, click Set DHCP Config. Click the switch to enable the config and enter the desired range of dynamic addresses. Specify the DNS servers that your workloads require. You can use public servers, centralized enterprise servers, or the pair of DNS servers that are part of the private cloud infrastructure. Save the configuration changes to finish creating the network segment. Click Network Topology to see a diagram of the environment. Finally, jump back to the vSphere client to see the newly created segment in the list of networks. Now you're ready to deploy a virtual machine on your Google Cloud VMware Engine private cloud. Check out the next video in this series to learn how. For more information about Google Cloud VMware Engine, check out VMware Cloud Tech Zone.